Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Tim Hutter from fxcrusher.com and in this video I want to talk about the mental aspect of trading to be more specific the most probable reason why you are struggling or running in circles and how you can overcome them. Let's go. So I don't have a specific number. I'm just going to tell you from my own experience like what I had to change in my example to become consistently profitable. I can tell you from my own journey. I'm not gonna tell the whole story, I'm just gonna tell you like my, my most important lessons or realizations. And there's a lot of stuff that I've already heard some years ago, but somehow I had to make all these mistakes myself in order to really see and understand, okay, it's never right, it doesn't work. But also there's a lot of stuff that people told me that has proven to be completely wrong. So it was a good thing to make these experiences or have these experiences. And I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna tell you from my own experience what I recommend you to do, no matter if you're a complete beginner or if you're already two years in or whatever, or even 10 years and you still didn't find any consistency, I'm gonna tell you from my own experience. Because to be honest, trading is so simple, but it's so difficult. Like it's the most difficult thing I've ever done and it, it was a hell of a journey you know obviously it makes it makes me proud but to be honest it was insane like the amount of pain i had to go through to realize certain things so i'm really telling you like the stuff that i'm going to tell you in this video i mean it i'm not selling anything i just mean it don't do it or do what i recommend you you're going to save yourself a lot of money and time so number one obviously i recommend everyone just to trade demo at the beginning because if you start trading a life account you're just starting with this never ending circle of blowing accounts and trying again and searching for a new way it's just a never ending cycle and you're just gonna have so many bad experiences over time you're gonna be super afraid of placing any trades you know so just trade on a demo account if, if you cannot be consistent on a demo account I'm sorry, but you will not be consistent on a life account. So you just, that's super important. You have to be honest with yourself. Look at your results. Don't look at your results on a daily basis. Look at them on a weekly or monthly basis. And if you're not consistent on a demo account, then it's simply not, you're not ready yet. You know, you have to see this. Of course, it's very tempting, but I can guarantee you, like it's, it doesn't stop until you finally accept, okay, I'm not ready yet to trade life money, but that's all right, because I know if I keep doing this, if I keep putting in the work, and I also do the boring stuff, eventually I'm gonna make it. I don't know when, but I'm gonna make it. You have to think like this, so also don't put pressure on yourself. Pressure comes mainly, like this is how you can fix it. The pressure that you feel to make it now, to make more money now, this pressure comes from the outside most of the time because you see it on social media, you see it on YouTube, you see it everywhere. Maybe you know someone who knows someone and this guy makes so much. These are st stories like that you say you're a forex trader and then like someone asks you, what do you do for a living? What's your job? I'm a trader or I learn how to trade. And then there's, there's always someone who says like, oh yeah, I have a friend who does this. He makes this and this. Like this is a sneak peek like it's the best of the best which this trader told his friend and your your friend is going to tell you the story so and you're going to feel like shit because you didn't make as much money yet so cancel the noise it's very important you have to be able to differentiate which information is valuable and which is not valuable so there's a lot of most people in the forex industry make their money selling you something they don't make any money with trading so be aware of this save yourself a lot of scam, uh, waste of, wasted money for scams, or also self-doubt and all this stuff. Cancel the noise, and don't listen to these people that tell you how much they made and everything on social media. Maybe take it as a as an inspiration, but don't compare yourself because it's your journey. It's your own journey. Your journey is going to be different than the journey of someone else. So this is very important. I wasted a lot of time and money with this. So that's the number one thing I would. Do change then number two like most me personally my biggest struggle was in the beginning i was not able to hold these trades it was my biggest struggle because i wanted to have the money now and i had to change this 
but there's always a limit to everything so because I then I changed it so much that I went to the other extreme where I'm just like with every trade I'm oh it's gonna be a swing trade like I'm just gonna let it run diamond hands you're just gonna end up hitting all your stop losses or get taken out break even after being massive in profit so don't especially in the beginning keep it simple don't go for the home runs don't make it extreme keep it very simple I know it's very sexy to trade the super small time frames having a two pip stop loss and the 100 pip profit and you make intraday a 1 to 50 and it's gonna be exciting yes it's it is amazing but it's not what a beginner it's not for beginners eventually you will maybe be able to make these trades on a daily basis but it's very unrealistic so stay humble to stay humble don't think you're the I don't know that you can have a 1 to 20 1 to 50 intraday maybe there's people that do this but it's one in a million or one in 10 millions or one in a billion who knows it's not what like what is very sustainable for most people you have to find something that is sustainable for you so maybe you will have a win like this every now and then but is it normal is it like that was my thing I every now and then I had these huge trades like it was just perfect I had a soup like I went in big I had a tight stop loss I had an amazing risk reward ratio and I was like this is so amazing I need to do this every single day and I was just focusing on this chasing these trades and ending up losing so much money because I wanted to have this big win I could have taken so many small wins on the way you know stay humble don't think you're the super sniper with the 1 to 100 intraday one day you maybe you're gonna be it but not now if you're struggling don't think about these crazy trades keep it simple that's very important then also the time frames you know like most people they trade in the beginning the small time frames why do they trade the small time frames because they want to get in and out and then they say yeah, I'm just a type of person but this is something that I did the same I was all day in the one minute and I lost like I got so confused it destroyed me inside because I saw something a strategy that works and then I got lost on the one minute and I tried to interpret it what I see and at the end maybe you can see some like what does it tell you the one minute time frame there are certain times where you find a nice setup but most of the time it's just trash you know <laughs> it's just noise it's a lot of noise and I just wanted to trade these small time frames because it, there I could use the tiny stop loss and I can, can get in and out the quick money the fast money that's what most people want and it can work but it's not really suitable for beginners because you end up over trading and you're gonna end up like confusing yourself because you see stuff that actually doesn't really matter also very important you don't have to understand everything you see on the chart I was trying to figure it all out you know and then I thought why oh, got it I was super confident and then so, there was a day where it was just ranging and I tried to like make sense of it until I came to the conclusion it's just all trash it's just <laughs> it's just a range it's just noise and I had to be humble and admit that I cannot predict the market like there's certain times where my setups make sense but still 50% of the time it's just wrong just accept it no matter who tells what like there's so many traders on Instagram they pretend as if they would know it all they only show the wins never show the losses so just be aware you're not <laughs> you can't figure it all out but you didn't you don't need to you just need to find over time a setup that makes you feel comfortable and it has proven to work or to proven to be profitable in the long run and then what you have to do is you have to optimize your process your daily routine in order to reduce the time or make find the most efficient way to spot this setup and how to execute on the setup in the most effective way and this brings me to the next point this is backtesting like if you try to 
interpret it the one minute one minute time frame and it's also complex so how can you do like um, a clean back testing session it's not possible the results are going to be very random you're going to have some crazy runs where you think like oh yeah i'm looking forward to monday i'm going to apply this and then it just it doesn't work you're like you end up losing a lot of money because it was just not exactly like this because it was too complex you would need so much more data to see if this can work in the long run or not so that's why you have to keep it simple and you have to backtest that's so important because the fear of missing out that a lot of people feel the over trading which comes from fear of missing out and the closing too early which also comes from fear of missing out all this like all these causes are from fear of missing out and where does fear of missing out come from it comes from the fact that you didn't make enough money yet or you lost you only lost money so what do you want to do you don't want to miss the setup when it's there so because you you are not confident enough to know that this setup is going to occur maybe three times per day maybe three times per week maybe three times per year who knows if you don't know this if you don't know like how common this setup is and where in which market conditions the, the setup works and what the performance of this setup is on average with a sample size of at least 50 or 100 trades then you're just gonna trade blindly and you're gonna feel the fear of missing out and you're gonna you will see the setup when it's not there because you want it you want exactly this setup so it's so important to do back testing and to just give it time time to digest and to to collect data so you know how your strategy performs in terms of win rate in terms of risk reward but then also in terms of the um, seasonalities because there's a lot of months where it's like in summer sometimes it's just a range so don't switch your strategy when it's when the market conditions are different so you have to learn to detach and stay out of the market so that's when it doesn't work for your setup so that's why you have to also collect data over a long period of time to have like a clue when your 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 strategy your setup whatever when it works or when it's most probable to work and when it's more likely not gonna work to in your favor you know for example for me in summer when there's no high impact news i just have to stay out of the market i need it i need these massive candles i need a lot of manipulation because I just, I get bored, I lose my mind when it's too slow. So I have to, it's much better to stay out of the market. That's also something very important. So fear of missing out comes, or also closing trades early, fear of missing out. These two things, they all come because you didn't do enough backtesting and you don't have enough experience and did, you didn't document your trades. So you're basically trading blind you're just trying and trying and trying again and the market is made to confuse you the market is made to destroy you and take your money so you have to do a lot of back testing you need to know the performance otherwise you're going to have fomo and you're going to over trade and you're not going to be able to hold your trades because if you know the average risk reward on this setup is a one to three with a 40 percent win rate or 45 and you know like in a sample size with 100 trades you know this so you're going to uh, place a trade and you're not going to know if you're going to win it or not like the chance of you winning it is 40 percent if the win rate is 40 percent if the win rate is 50 percent then the win rate the chance of winning this trade is 50 percent so the whole goal of this is that you you will never completely achieve it but you can get very close to, uh, to the point where you, you just you have your system in place to spot this setup you have your routine your timing and everything and then you see it and you know this is my setup i know how to trade it and you follow your rules you need rules to every setup you need rules for your strategy for the routine it has to be rule based if you cannot automate it then it's too how can i say it's too vague it has to be 
like an algorithm if you can't code it then it's too complicated it's so simple so and if you know this then eventually you're gonna be at a point where you just enter in a trade you know I, like I have a 50% chance of winning it and if I win I lose one R if I if I win I'm gonna win three R so you're just gonna enter you have your TP and your SL and you're just gonna let it play out you don't care anymore because you know even if you take now a loss and tomorrow again one you know according to your strategy for example you can have four losses in a row so it's totally fine when you have six losses in a row then maybe you need to see okay why did i have six losses in a row here in the live markets but it never happened in the back testing but if you know all these this information then you're going to be very more relaxed you're just going to execute ice cold of course it hurts when it hits your stop loss no one is like no one is not affected by this it's just normal but over time you just know okay now when i hit like three stop losses usually i have maximum four loss in a row and i can have six winners in a row whatever you're going to be more calm you know it's not going to affect you as much because if it affects you you're going to react emotionally and when you react emotionally that's exactly when you're going to lose you know the market is made to make you lose when you make emotional decisions so that's why you have to make it as rule based as possible and to make this rule based as possible you have to keep it simple and you need to have um, enough data to rely on which can calm you down when things don't go well you know and when it's out of the the data that you collected like out of your sample out of the results completely outside of this uh, of the results you see in, saw in the back test then you just have to take a step back instead of forcing it never force something in trading and this brings me to the next point and that's also something with the pressure like what causes you to have FOMO what causes you to uh, not be able to hold the trades what causes you to overtrade all this stuff basically this is also coming a lot from the inside not only from the outside but also from the inside because you or from your situation because you need money now like that's a big mistake a lot of people start trading because they need the money and I'm so sorry to say but a trade you're not gonna make any money with trading in the beginning you know maybe you can flip an account and you can have a big win you can gamble okay that's a casino everyone can win in the casino but in the long run like in order to gain consistency you just have to be aware you're not gonna make any money with trading in the first one or two maybe three years maybe more than people that trade for seven years they never they never made any money you know they never made it work so you have to be aware of the numbers this doesn't mean you're not gonna make it because I say if you put everything in it then you never stop you're like a cockroach like me eventually you're gonna make it you know because who else can survive for so long so <laughs> you can make it of course so that's why you have to make sure you survive as long as possible to gain enough experience as possible not just to gain enough experience to figure it out and to gain this experience you need time and you need you need screen time and you need trading time and you need to document it because you need to make this the whole cycle i say at least two years probably three years to see the seasonality and everything that's very important because the market is seasonal so you just need time for this so don't rely only on trading because if you rely on trading only and you have no other source of income you're going to have a lot of pressure a lot of unnecessary pressure because you need to make it work right now you know that's why a lot of people um, trade way better um, like people that have other sources of income you know and now it comes a lot of traders they make their most of their money selling courses it is not eth ethically wrong to sell courses if you really teach something valuable and if you can really help people it's not wrong at all you know it is wrong when you don't teach anything valuable and when people actually when, when there's no success when people don't get results you know the thing is just there's a lot of overselling like that's just normal especially in the US it's just normal to oversell and under deliver like they're the kings of marketing but they don't they never deliver what they say you know it's just overselling and this is what happens in this industry 
a lot of people that just oversell and then don't they're under deliver but these guys once they start selling these courses they actually make amazing like good money trading and why is this this is like then everything took takes off at the same time and i could feel this in my case as well like i have other businesses as well so i i never only relied on trading but i had times where my business was not doing so well so then i felt more pressure of relying on trading and it showed in my results like the results were worse than before until i figured this out and the more i tried to make this work and to force it the worse it got so relax take your time and don't rely only on trading just don't if you have enough saving savings all right then do it make it make it smart like make your plan how long can you survive with this money and until unless you see any consistency you just keep trading demo accounts and then you set yourself a goal okay when i'm like two or three months consistent with the demo account i'm going to start with live money with a small account this and that make a plan it can definitely work for sure because if you go all in and you have savings you have all the time because if you work nine to five it's going to be hard like to make it in trading because you you just miss all the market like the, the main volume time so obviously it's much better to have a lot of time but don't force it when i invested the most amount of time uh, of, of time in trading that's when i lost the most all like my biggest trades my best winners the biggest returns they all came from one hour of trading or maybe it was just one hour these were like simple higher time frame setups place a trade focus on something else that's it like it's easy money like this on the other hand you see yourself like on the chart on the one minute and you have so many screens i mean you have this complicated strategy and you need to enter fast i need to be ready to exit the trade quick and everything is so exciting and everything this is not how trading works maybe it's sometimes like this but it's not sustainable you know like i was obsessed with these sniper entries and i got so good at it like i can really snipe these one minute candles i got so good at it because i spent so much time on the one minute and it's amazing but it's not what makes or breaks your trading you know because what's the point of getting the sniper entry but then not seeing the big picture and not having an idea where is a realistic target for this what's the overall bias and all this stuff like it needs to make sense overall and if it's too stressful if it requires too much focus from your side if you need to be glued to your screen and everything then it's most likely just not sustainable in the long run you know i had to realize this as well so again less is more and i had this feeling of I was obsessed of I had to be in front of the chart to know if it's going to play out or not. I f had this need of or this yeah this need of being on, in control, but you can't you can't control it. You never know no matter how much you know about the market, you never know what's going to happen. You just have the probabilities. Be aware of this and make your strategy, your routine and everything like tailor it to this fact that you can never know so that's why it's very beneficial to have another stream of income another business which makes you happy which is a passion of you so you have your trades and of course you love it the most and you want to make the most of your money with trading and you definitely can but make sure you have other things in your life that you have law for or that you focus on because the, what is going to distract you from trading is going to help you in trading because of course you need screen time and everything but don't think you need to be in front of the chart to make money you don't like you need screen time to learn and to get a feel for it and everything but once this once you have this experience you have your system and everything and then when you place a trade you should be able to just walk away because you know the stats of your strategy and you you know your target makes sense and everything if your strategy requires you to be there 100 percent focused then it's not you're not there yet it's not it's too vague because it requires 
you to make emotional decisions and the humans are the worst in making emotional decisions so make it as easy as possible for you like that you just have some steps that you have to complete of course there's always a very emotional part to it it's never gonna go away but make it as rule-based as possible and accept the fact that you can never figure it out completely but you don't you're always gonna miss out on most of the move that happens no matter what you do and that's all right because you don't need everything you just need a part of it and it needs to be repeatable in the long run on a consistent basis that's what you need just a small a small piece of the cake every day or every week whatever over time you build up you build up and you gain confidence don't think you need to predict every move and you need to catch the whole move you don't you simply don't even if others do it fuck them just cancel the noise maybe one day you're gonna make it but you don't need to be able to catch every big move all the time to make money if you miss the big moves over and over and over again you have already won because you've already learned like that what you do right now makes you miss the, the main move you want to focus on the main move so how can you change this you know what to, what you have to work on right now so all the losses all the bad stuff that happens it's just necessary but document it because when you document it you have data and this is gonna make you grow faster and learn faster and also enjoy this journey that's something I can really like it's so important to enjoy this ride because maybe you're young now and you want to make it work right now and I'm telling you you will make it if you have patience if you want it now it has to happen now you're gonna force it you're gonna hurt yourself and maybe you're gonna burn yourself so if you know you're gonna make it at, like one day you're gonna make it then just enjoy the ride because you're making this experience one time in your life like it, it is so emotional to me because this is this journey is indescribable like it destroys you completely multiple times it destroys everything your person your confidence it destroys you and you have to rebuild it so many times you you get like you become a new person in this whole journey this development it happens one time in your life you're never gonna repeat this so you see it 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 just it's so emotional so enjoy the ride and then you can be proud one day when you look back at what you achieved so don't rush it it's not it's not a sprint it's a marathon so enjoy the ride and be patient and look at it in a longer time frame don't force it you don't have to make it now if you don't have money now then make sure you have another business which gives you money so you have enough time to learn this if you only do it to make money now then you're just it's the wrong business sorry trading is the worst business to make money now but it's the, it's the best business to make money over time because you're so independent you don't need anyone it's the market your phone your computer whatever your broker your strategy that's it you don't have to explain to anyone what you what you do you can live in your own terms it's the best but to get there it takes time so be aware of the value that this skill has and be aware of how that it just takes a lot to get there but it's worth it so there's so much more to it believe me this is a long journey i hope i could really help you and make you some like give you some confidence or motivate you honestly i just wish you all the best on this journey make sure you survive long enough and thank you so much for watching this video if you want to do me a favor follow me on instagram i'm going to put my name here and subscribe to this channel it would mean a lot to me thank you so much see you in the next video Peace out.